welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for the English webinars about uh, JFD Invest uh, genuine experience for traders. Today we have the 24th of October 2019. And uh, as you might see in the top line of my screen, we have still 20 degrees outside. Uh, so it's quite well here in Germany and I hope for you it's good as well. And it's good to have you all here talking about uh, JFD Invest. What I will do today is I will introduce uh, a trading platform, JFD Invest, because you will learn that JFD Invest is um, a kind of digital wealth management platform. You personally act as a portfolio manager. You select between pre-selected trading strategies, allocate a certain amount of money to a given strategy, and then the strategy is directly copied into your trading account. So that's more or less what JFD Invest is about. And it's a really quite cool platform. And um, we have selected uh, some very good strategies and you will see the numbers. So uh, it's not a single digit growth, no. Uh, we have strategies even uh, already having doubled its account. So it's quite profitable strategies. Overall, we talk about JFD Invest at all. We talk about um, the highlights of last week. You will see that uh, there has been another strategy being the top performer, which has been Neptune and we will see uh, a close look to that as well. And we have added a new one um, and you will see how that works. Uh, it's a quite cool strategy. It's already at the um, second best um, performing strategy at all. So um, you will learn about that. And doing so, um, I will introduce you to how you might do a review process of those strategy. And honestly, that process is the most important step uh, when it comes to uh, anything around JFD and West, because of course, I personally would not jump directly into the best performer, put all my money in and wait uh, for the returns. No, I would always go for a diversified portfolio and I will dive a little bit deeper into those strategies with all the information uh, we make available. And that kind of review process, I will guide you a little bit through uh, when it comes to the new trading strategy. But first of all, as always, for any webinar, you know the procedure. Uh, I have to show our risk disclaimer. Uh, that means we talk about training, we talk about investment, we talk about invest. But finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own and your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining. But anyhow, uh, it has to be mentioned at least once during any webinar. I mentioned already the highlights of last week and um, last week the best performing strategies has been Neptune, which is a cool strategy as well, because I will show you more about that strategy in a minute, um, because that strategy is a completely intraday strategy. So that strategy has never any trade open over midnight. It has no trade open over weekends, and that's especially good, the last one, uh, no trades uh, over the weekend, because there's always a gap risk uh, during the weekend. And to avoid that, any trade is closed. And that's what the strategy is doing. And you see already the list of traded instruments, which is quite long. So uh, it's already a diversified portfolio in it, or diversified strategy in itself. And um, looking to the overall performance, not that bad. Okay, that was a, um, the highlight of last week and the new one, the new strategy is already mentioned. It's maybe a little bit difficult to pronounce the name in Jalius. Mm, I hope I do it right. Um, but you can see the name here. So that is a new one and we will have a look to that as well. But now let's talk a little bit more about JFD and West. JFD Invest you will find on the homepage of JFD Bank and there you have a button which is called Investing and you will see if you click that one uh, you are almost into 
the trading platform JFD Invest. I say almost because first, just let's have a look to the top five performing strategies. You will always find an overview uh, of those five here on the web page, which is updated uh, every night. And you see, oh yeah, there are strategies around even uh, more than doubling the account that is Hyperion. And here we have the new one, and Jalius uh, was, was already earned money of close to 30%. And what you can see with those key figures here, uh, same number as year to date. So, wow, strategy has earned that money already within the ongoing year. And you will see it's even shorter, a shorter period, just four months having earned that amount of money. So, quite cool. You see some other key figures, but I will talk about those um, later. So those are the five top performer. We have in total 16 strategies. But if you want to be part of JFD Invest, uh, then there are a few steps um, to be done. And then you are part of JFD Invest. The first one is uh, the sign in, the sign up process. That's the green button here. That's just um, the re registration process, meaning your email address and a given password, no money involved, nothing, even no account is involved. You don't have to be a client of JFD to do that step. So that's quite easy. The good thing is if you do so, then you can later use not only the guest access, that's the one we will start with, but if you have a profile, then you can see more about those trading strategies just already with that profile. If you like it, what you see, the next might be for you that you open a JFD Invest account, which is a special trading account. And even if you are luckily already a client of JFD Invest, you cannot take your uh, existing um, account because that account has been has to be totally separated from your own trading activities, and therefore you, uh, you need a new account. The second step is that. Um, the trading account uh, is a so-called professional account, meaning the leverage is 1 to 100 as for professionals. Since you follow professionals, you get the same conditions. Uh, the downside maybe, if you think about that, is that you cannot trade by your own directly, so you cannot open individual trades. That account is just meant to follow trading strategies out of JFD Invest. So you might connect the two. And then you can start following any trading strategy with a given um, amount of money you allocate. And now, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a good time to, to use that guest access here. Uh, then we can directly jump into uh, the trading platform JFD Invest. And normally the starting page, it's always a little bit slow here because I'm simultaneous doing the webinar so from from an internet perspective um, it's a heavy load here because i have um, my computer is uploading all the images and so that you can see my screen but anyhow here we are and you see we have in total 16 strategies you see only 10 on the first page so the six are on the uh, next page we have a couple of um, key figures about any strategy already here directly um, on the top page. And you see inception date that gives you a hint how old is the strategy, how long is it strategy running in a live trading account. And you see the overall return, the last months, the year to date, and something which you might not see that often, that is equity balance deviation. It's a little bit like a drawdown, but even was open positions so it's just uh, the drawdown of open the potential drawdown of open positions and, and not a potential it's actual and here we show the highest drawdown um, in the past or the highest equity balance deviation let me explain a little bit more about that because it's really a um, quite important key figure um, if you have a trading account and you don't have a trade open then equity and balance equal each other that's quite easy. And now you open a trade, and that means um, your trade might be in profit or in loss, and that leads, in case of loss, to an equity balance deviation. So in this case, uh, Hyperion, think about you would have invested 10K into that strategy. That would mean with such an equity balance deviation, there have been open trades with 5K in the minus. 
why do we present everything? We want to be as transparent as possible because all those informations, all those details should be part of your personal review process. And I would really mean personal because there is no, no golden rule how to do that. Uh, there might be people around, uh, if they have a drawdown of 10%, then it's too heavy. Other may think, oh yeah, no, that's my trading capital. Uh, if it's 50%, that's fine with me. If the return is right, uh, then I can live with that kind of drawdown as well. So it's a combination. And therefore, um, I cannot guide you uh, in this case because it's really up to you. And therefore, JFT Invest is really customized to your own preferences because you do that kind of selection process. For example, if we start with um, Hyperion, or let me just start with another one here uh, that you learn a little bit about um, already Neptune that has been the top performer of last week. And um, so I press that button and now you get all the details about any strategy. And let me really guide you through almost everything you have here because all what you see here should be part of your review process as well. We have first the overall growth. Okay, in this case, strategy has earned within one year about 16% um, growth, which is really a good number. And um, but you see ups and downs. Okay, we have to think about that. Is it just temporarily has it been a stop loss and such such kind of question you can answer with something else if you go for example here for equity then you see two lines and in this case which is really special for that strategy those two lines are identical i will show you another example in a minute then you will see uh, that those um, two lines should, are not almost uh, not always that identical the reason why is here uh, those two lines uh, that identical i mentioned it already strategy neptune is closing all the trades at the end of the day even a little bit earlier before any swap costs or uh, um, would be charged uh, to those uh, trades so there are no open trades overnight no open trades over weekend so equity balance deviation is something which is really minor here it's more or less only virtual because um, it's only a worst case consideration nevertheless we show it and we go to that as well what you see here since balance has the same jumps to the south that means we have reached stop loss levels for that strategy which is for my thinking a plus that a strategy has stop loss and that you can realize immediately if you see those kind of step down in the balance as well. And if you see those simultaneously with the growth. Why I mention that? There might be step down within the balance, but that might be a withdrawal as well. I'll give you an example in, as well in a minute. So that is a strategy. And then finally you can see even equity balance deviation versus time um, but for this strategy that number has no real meaning because all the trades are closed at the end of the day anyhow we have additional information part of your revenue process as well at least that's my recommendation you have the monthly return table okay a perfect green one would be ideal and we have now three strategies with a just green um, monthly return table. So any month has been a positive month. And those strategies are the new one, Angelius, um, and uh, followed by Forex Gun and Butterfly. Those have totally green monthly return tables, which is perfect. You see additional information, trading statistics. This strategy, for example, has executed more than 3,000 trades over that one year. So there's really statistics behind, which, statistics behind, which is good. So that's not just a consequence of uh, six lucky winners and therefore we show the strategy. No, there's really statistics behind. You see other statistics here as well. And um, what you can see here, if you go for instruments, is what kind of instruments are traded within that strategy. Uh, 
And you see here, ooh, that's huge. There's even a second page, but there's only one um, symbol on the second page, which is uh, gold as well. So there are 29 symbols being traded within that strategy. So that strategy is really diversified in itself, um, which is good. And um, all those things you can see, it should be part of your review process. Let's talk about those drawdowns. Okay, they happen. And those drawdowns are a consequence of stop losses. Um, if we don't have them, that would mean strategy is, is never closing a trade in the minus. And you see here directly that here stop losses are in place and that's good. Since that strategy Neptune is by my own, I can show you some more details about the strategy, how it's really working. And what you see now is the master MT4 account for that strategy. And you see a lot of open charts because in any chart, there's an expert advisor running. And that's the other good story about JFD Invest. You don't need something like that. You don't need a virtual private server to operate your account in those EAs. So you don't need any IT infrastructure. You just need JFD Invest. And that means having access to the internet and then you can do uh, all the steps to follow any strategy but now we have a look behind uh, the curtain so it's really behind um, that's the master account itself even if you look to the account number you might realize it's the same what's about today hmm, there's no open trade okay strategy is trading completely intraday um, and within the day it uses uh, some some certain threshold levels which are not active today because no open trade and then it would start trades uh, around midnight and um, going for for additional trades over the day but only if we have the right day of the week and just to give you an example uh, let me first have a view um, which symbol I do have to press here and I oops and I think it's one example is um, this one here. And let me enlarge that one. And here you can see two, two lines. Originally, the strategy has opened uh, the first trade uh, here at, um, um, at midnight in German time. There was a first trade being opened. A second trade has been opened a little bit later. The first has been in loss and then the two trades finally came to the check profit level which has been here the, that is what i call trade sequences they have a common stop loss and a common take profit and they reached it quite well later the day and just to give you an, uh, another example let me go for uh, british pound us dollar and um, here you can see another example of trades being executed on Tuesday. And once again, there has been a trade sequence. The first one, which is take profit level here, and later the second trade, uh, which just take profit level down here. That's just how the strategy is acting. And even sometimes it's not trading um, at all, like today. So that's NEP2. The overall performance, I think, stands for its own. And you might find it interesting as well but of course that's definitely uh, as always your decision let me <clears throat> show you another example um, that you learn a little bit about potential drawdowns and and uh, within those strategies and there uh, let me take hyperion as a good example hyperion is the best performing strategy at all was uh, already having doubled its account in one and a half year um, so that's the performance uh, that grows versus time, as you can see. But you see, there are huge uh, drawdowns as well. So they might happen as well. Now, let's have a look to equity balance deviation for this strategy. And you see a complete, totally different picture. And um, OK, we have the maximum value about 40% here. But you see, the strategy is living from open trades, more or less. It has more or less always trades open and those trades are um, in most cases in, in the minus first later they turned around 
to be profitable. And that's how the strategy is working. But strategy has open trades almost any time. And as we speak, for example, the equity balance deviation is about 20% or 19. And so that, my, that means there are open trades with minus 20% um, result. Anyhow, wonderful performance, a growth of 120%. And let me show you another example here about the difference about equity and balance. And you might say, whoops, what happened here? Is that a drawdown? And would I see the same in my account if I would follow that strategy? Yeah. The, the answer to the latter one is no. Uh, you don't, you would not see that one in your account. And the answer to the first question, what is it at all? It's a withdrawal, nothing else. How can I realize that? Um, just e quite easy. That is equity and balance versus time. That has been growth versus time. Since we don't have the jump in the rows, it must be something else. And a step south is in those cases a withdrawal of the master in, within the master account. And a step to the north, yeah, would be um, just a deposit. Since you only follow the strategy, it has nothing to do with uh, your account. Nothing. So you, that would be not taking any, any money out of your account. So that is what you can learn here. Just uh, as if you um, have a view to growth and equity and balance simultaneously. Another important step here for this strategy is what are the trading instruments. Uh, that should be part of your revenue process as well. At least if you have preferences, then you might look for a fit between your preferences and the trading instruments here with a given strategy. And in this case, the strategy is more or less trading exclusively um, DAX and uh, Dow Jones, uh, some minor other trades, but that are the majority of all trades. Okay, <clears throat> if you like indices, then this strategy would be a perfect hit as well. Finally, I want to at least show you the, the new one as well. And the new one is Angelius. Um, the only, let's say, downside of that strategy, it has only uh, a track record in a live trading account um, just for uh, four months up to now. Uh, as you can see in the monthly return table, so even that information definitely we don't hide. Um, since we know a little bit more about the strategy, and uh, therefore we decided, hey, okay, it's already a good time to launch that strategy here at JFD Investor uh, as well. But now let's do the review process. So what do we like to learn about, especially a new strategy? Okay, we learned it already, four months history. Good, taken. We always have to look for equity balance deviation. We see the maximum number is nine, close to 9%. Um, overall, it's not so bad. Um, in, in most cases, it's below uh, 2% in most days, which is good. So there are not that many open trades. Um, well, we know that. Um, and we might have a look to the average trade duration. Gives us a hint as well. In this case, it's one day and three hours. Even the strategy is only four years uh, for months on a live trading account, it has already executed more than 400 trades. So statistics, good. Let's have a view to the instruments. Um, okay, strategy is a portfolio in itself, which at least for my thinking is good as well. Let's look for the kind of symbols. We see some majors, uh, but we don't see, for example, Euro, uh, US dollar. Um, some miners as well, so it's always a combination. And since I know a little bit more about the strategy, the strategy is really doing a quite cool job. It's looking for correlation between uh, different forex symbols and opening trades um, for a correlated pair in two directions. Um, if the naming is, uh, uh, if everything else fits. So that's how the strategy works. And okay, since I'm not locked in, I'm just as a guest here, let me log in because then we can see a little bit more because I want to show you that if you are logged in, then you get some more details about the strategy. And um, I can tell you what I would like to see. And what I would like to see is in this case, um, 
more about the real trades um, and to, to see what is the lot size, what how does it work. So, and now we see all the closed trades and you can even go to page number 40. Five, but anyhow, what I would look to, like to see is okay. Here you see there are two symbols. You see the trade has ended at the same point in time. That is what I meant was two trades are opened simultaneously. And you see, okay, one is in the minus, one is in plus. Okay, that is how the strategy works opening two trades of correlated pairs. And uh, in this case, one long, one short, um, opened simultaneously, closed simultaneously, lot size quite well, everything looks good. So that is part of my review process when I look to those uh, strategies. And you see, okay, it's always 0.03, there's one trade with 0.06. Um, yeah, that uh, looks good. So you don't see any kind of martingale behavior like opening always, um, uh, sometimes huge lot sizes of trades. No, this strategy is not doing something like that. So that's what we learn about the strategy. Well, well done to the guy who has uh, developed that kind of strategy. And it's not one of mine. Since I want to be transparent with everything here, um, I want to share with you two additional information. For any strategy, there's always a minimum investment sum you need to allocate for a given strategy. And in this case, it's a 1K. That's the one part you should know. You can always invest more, but not less. And there's a performance fee involved, um, but no other costs. So what does it mean, performance fee? Performance fee means that if the strategy is earning money, then on an uh, months and base, uh, there might be a charge, the uh, fee charged to your account, but only if your followed strategy has reached new highs. So it's not if you think about a strategy which is more or less a, a sine wave, so going up, up, down, up, down. No, not for any months it goes up. You would have to pay no only if it reaches new highs compared to the previous high. So that's the trigger on a month's end base for any fees. And then in this case, uh, from the profits, uh, there's a performance fee of 25%. There's no management fee, no base fee, nothing. It's just that high watermark performance fee. That you should know as well. But now let's have a look to um, my personal JFD Invest account because that's the reason why I logged in. And that's how I developed since a little bit more than one year. And you see that I have a gross return uh, of 27% uh, up to now, which is a good result for a little bit more than, than a month. And you can see what I do. And the allocation here is six different strategies. You don't see already the new one. Uh, I might change that uh, in a later stage, but that's my personal diversification, six different strategies, not putting all the money into one, and then you allocate a given amount to um, such a strategy. And how easy it is to do so, let me just do it virtually because I don't want to change anything, but let's assume I'm on holiday, I have access to the internet and I'm logged in, so same picture. and. If now I don't want to follow, for example, this strategy anymore, it's just stop allocation. Pressing that button and one additional step for confirmation, uh, then the strategy, all the open trades of that strategy would be closed and no new trades would be opened. Um, okay. Um, I have uh, one question here. Uh, where can I find uh, the webinar later, please? So you can find the recordings of those uh, webinars always on the JFD YouTube uh, channel. So you go to Google and press JFD YouTube, then you're directly at the um, YouTube channel, and there you can find all the recordings. This recording will be um, live. Uh, yeah, it will be around 10 o'clock tomorrow. Then you can find the recordings of the webinar uh, at our YouTube channel.
Good, let's go back to the allocation. And that was a step like how to stop allocation. And that you can see how easy it is. Then maybe you decide for a new one. And let's virtually decide I want to go for Angelius. Then it's just pressing the button follow. And all we need to do is we need to allocate some certain amount of money uh, for that uh, strategy. What does it mean? So we have, in my case, we have in a total um, 11K and I have only left 200 euros. So in, this, in my case, I could not follow um, Angelius because I don't have enough money left. So I would first have to stop another strategy and then I could follow, uh, for example, uh, this Angelius. So, but anyhow, if you have um, enough money, then you can allocate the amount you like to invest into that strategy. That's the one part. And second part is you can even apply what is called risk management. Risk management is something like a stop loss level, but on a strategy level. So not a stop loss for an individual trade. No, it's a stop loss for a complete strategy. So whenever, in this case, if the slider would be, let's say, at 50% and we would invest 1,000 euro, whenever the strategy would lose 500 euros, even in just open trades, then all everything would be stopped. So all trades are closed from that strategy and no new trade would be open. That's the stop loss level on strategy level which is good, but um, what I always do is I look a little bit to the history, to the drawdowns, the equity balance deviation, in order to decide what should be the right level for that number. Because if I would put, for example, for Hyperion, the button to 10%, uh, you saw then that that would be too tight and um, I would be stopped out quite uh, fast, um, at least looking to the history, which is not, always no guarantee for the future, but that you can learn from those numbers as well. That's how you follow. And then just pressing the button and then we are in and JDS with um, a certain amount of money, which is really good. Um, so it's quite cool and quite easy to, to, um, to do any steps here. What you do finally here is you act as a portfolio manager. And that's really a quite cool job, I can tell you. And you can do it wherever you are. You just need access to the internet and that's all. I hope you got interested and then you might do all the steps um, uh, here on our web page if you like. And um, if you just want to have additional information, no problem. And or if you have any further questions, just drop me a line to s.friedrichowski at jftbank.com uh, or just write the support of JFD Bank. Um, that's, um, they will answer any question as well. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the webinar and I wish you a good day and see you again. Maybe in two weeks, I will have a next review here, um, maybe talking about new strategies, my personal account, and of course about the highlights. Okay. That's for now. Have a good time. Bye-bye.